So you crashed on your motorcycle. Now you're ready to give up riding a motorcycle. You're scared. People are telling you, I told you so, you shouldn't ride a motorcycle because they're dangerous. And now you got this anxiety. You don't want to ride anymore. You want to sell the bike because you don't want to die. I'm going to tell you in this video, guys, how to get back on your motorcycle after a crash and be a boss. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that feel good, baby. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. I see so many riders out there that today are still not wearing the gear. This is the best thing you can do, guys, is to get gear that's gonna it's gonna lessen severe injuries. You know. Especially your head. This is most important and I tell you I got some of the best gear if you want to get it I have links to it like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an auto tent shield My motor vlog camera airbag vest to help keep you safe I never leave home without it my CE armor jacket that flows a ton of cool air is cheap to get Links in the description and comment section of this video You know guys, I'm at the same place that I crashed on this YZ 450 FX just messing around here I just rode off road here and there was a hidden log and when the bike hit it it jarred my bike and my my right hand came off and I flew off the bike and I landed this way on my shoulder and snapped my collarbone extremely painful you know and for, for a, a second there I was like you know what I, I don't need to be riding off road and then I was like you know what this was just a stupid crash and, and crap happens out here you know, just walking, you can you can trip and fall and bust your shoulder or your head or something. It happened to a, my mom's friend. She had to get sh shoulder, shoulder surgery because she fell the wrong way, slipped and fell on the ground. Crap happens out here, and you have to expect the same with riding a motorcycle or anything else you do, man. Oh, baby. <laughs> I could never give up riding this bike. This bike is sick. <laughs> yeah, baby, we out here on the supermoto. Could never give up riding. This is beautiful, man. This is freedom. You know what I'm saying? This, I, this is my love here. This is my passion. You know what I'm saying? And if you crash, like I said, you have to chalk it up to either lack of skill or just having an effed up day. And also, if you get damage really bad and you're not wearing the gear that's your stupid fault um it's like i said it's so crazy how i see so many people out here riding without a helmet and gear these days with the technology we have there's nobody should be riding without an airbag vest and a helmet man nobody because i tell you if you get thrown from your bike you land the wrong way and messes your spine up you can get crippled it ain't worth it it's, spend the extra money i have a link to this airbag vest which is tried and true in the description and comment section of the video and uh, I tell you don't leave home without it yo the first thing you need to do you have to understand that when you crash you know that's the first reaction you have is like wow this is dangerous I don't need to be doing this anymore you know what I'm saying I got a family people care about me you know, I, I don't want to be laid up in a hospital you know what I'm saying and but the same thing can be said of the ride in a car. Yeah, I've seen people they cr have horrific crashes. My mom got in two crashes, like within a month or something like that, and she almost was had some PTSD and was ready to give up driving. But you know what? Nobody wants to take the bus or walk to the grocery store <laughs> and carry back a bunch of groceries and stuff in, in the hot weather or cold weather or whatever. Nobody. You like the convenience of getting in your car and going wherever you want you love the independence you know what i'm saying most people will not give up driving a car if they get in a car accident now some people do uh, same with a bicycle you know what i'm saying most people you, you uh, most of us have f uh, fell when we first rode them but you get back up and you get better same with a motorcycle man you have to understand you crash it's your fault it's not the motorcycle's fault you know uh uh, most a lot of pe riders out there still are not defensive minded riders You have to treat each and every one of these cars as though they're going to kill you 
Whoa! Oh, man! Oh! Look at that! It's crazy, man! Is he crazy? You have to look at it the way. You have to see danger before it happens. You have to honk your horn before if you see a car moving forward. Just make sure he knows. He knows. Yeah, yeah, I'm here, baby! And he's not paying attention. You need to honk your horn, get his attention, be ready to stop or uh, hit the throttle. Um, so, uh, I just love wheeling on this bike. <laughs> I got to cool it down, man. And you should be doing that. You know what I'm saying? But it's hard not to on a supermoto. But, uh, and you got to have skills. If you don't have skills, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? I see so many riders out here. They just don't ride defensively out here, man. I did a full video on how to ride defensively that could, could possibly save your life and keep you from having an effed up day. I'll include a link to that video in the description and comment section of this video. You need to get their attention. See here? Also, I see so many riders out here that commute to work in heavy traffic. If you go into the ocean that has a lot of sharks and you put yourself around a lot of sharks, of course, there's gonna be, could be a, a lot higher chance of a shark getting you and setting you up for f up day, right? Same thing with cars, guys. You don't want to surround yourself in heavy traffic because you got a lot of frustrated people and, you know, five ton plus machines here that could crash in you and set you up for f up day. In my opinion, I don't believe in commuting to work, but hey, that's you if you want to do it. Now, if you, you commute to work and you don't have to deal with a lot of traffic, then cool. But you want to stay away from a lot of traffic. That's why you see in a lot of my videos, I'm out here just riding in rural areas, man. Um, you know, I, I try to, and it's more enjoyable. Who in the heck wants to do stop and go, stop and go, stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. You know what I'm saying? That's, it's boring. You want to be able to rip the throttle here and there, go ride in a twisty, you know what I'm saying? Not with a lot of cars passing you and all up in your tail and, um, you know, who wants to deal with traffic? You know what I'm saying? Take yourself out to a rural area that's going to lessen your chances of having an effed up day on a motorcycle. Also, uh, in addition to wearing gear, wear high vis gear like I'm wearing here, guys. This is going to irritate people's eyes because it's not a natural color so it stands out and there have been studies that prove that high vis color does help you know help but now it's not always going to there's been people that these road workers that get hit still and they by law they have to wear high vis uh vesting and hats and everything else and people still crash into them sometimes but you ride around here in all black it's going to up your risk greatly, guys. You're putting, you're making yourself like a ghost out here, which you want to act like you're a ghost, but you want people to see you out here, man. <laughs> Whoa, that feel good, baby. Yeah, you gotta do that, boy. Yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Woo! I had to get that in. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, I love ripping that throttle, baby. Feels good. How can you give up riding doing that, man? How can you give up riding? It's so fun. I'm telling you, man. Listen to Uncle Cycle Cruiser here. Stay on your motorcycle, guys. Don't give it up. I don't care how bad of an accident you got, recuperate and think about the next bike you're getting and how you're going to be a better rider, how you're going to follow Cycle Cruiser's advice, be an excellent defensive rider, wear all the gear, and you're going to be a better rider than ever, okay? But, but anyways, leave a comment below. Let's, I want to hear what you guys have to say about it. I always love talking with you guys in the comments, but hit the like button. It really helps my channel. I appreciate it subscribe to my all of a motorcycle channel and make sure to subscribe to my other channel bug out moto love you guys i wish you guys all the best stay safe until next time deuces thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel bug out moto where i customize a van for my motorcycle so i can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere 
subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bugout Moto.